If you are not seeing Ghana, you are seeing Nigeria. If you are not seeing Nigeria, you are seeing Ghana. So Nigeria and Ghana, you guys are the face of Africa that she's going to want to be born as a Nigerian. And I'm like, it's like some of you still don't fully trust us. Ghanaians and Nigerians are, are inseparable. Hello friends, this is James of the James TV. Thank you for stopping by and you're welcome. So uh, right now, hey, I heard something. That's why I'm looking. I am at a park right now. Anyway, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, if you ask me one of the things I like about America as an African, as a Nigerian, I like the fact that you can just go to a park, sit down and do whatever I want to do. Nobody's going to look at you. Nobody's going to disturb you. I mean, it's, it's just so good. It's so good. Africa, take notes, take notes. Anyway, that's not why we're here. So you guys, um, let's have a conversation. Let's talk. Let's discuss. Uh, so I did a Google search, right? Uh, in case you're seeing me for the first time, hi, welcome to the channel. This is Jims of the Jims TV. I'm Jumoke, a Nigerian born lady <laughs> so yeah welcome to the video so i did a google search guys i googled the states that have the largest number of nigerians versus the states that have the largest number of Ghanaians. i want you guys to just sit with me understand my train of thoughts discuss in the comment section i always love when you guys put your comments in the comment section when you talk when you converse with me okay let me know if you are in any of these states and yeah let's take it from there i'll start with nigeria because i'm nigeria okay <laughs> so for nigeria the states with the highest number of nigerians are texas and that includes american born nigerians and american born Ghanaians. for the most part these are the states that have these nationalities in them the most Anyway, you get my point. So for Nigeria, we have Texas. They didn't put it, but I know that Houston, Texas is the headquarters of Nigeria. You can't tell me nothing. That one, I've always known. In case you're not aware, headquarters of Nigeria in America. So we have Maryland, we have California, we have New York, we have Georgia, and we have Illinois. So I just picked the top six. There are obviously more, but these are the top six, right? For Ghanaians, we have New York, we have Virginia, little wonder, the only Ghanaians here. <laughs> we have New Jersey, we have Maryland, we have Connecticut, and we have Massachusetts. <laughs> so I also hear that it's a mix in Georgia. You know, I mentioned Georgia for Nigerians, but I also heard that you know, Atlanta actually is taken by Nigerians. I don't know how true it is because I heard that there are a lot of Nigerian restaurants there. Yeah, so I think for the most part, Georgia belongs to both Nigerians and Ghanaians. So now if you notice something, if you've been following, you will see that there are some states we have in common. So you see that we have Maryland in common, New York in common, Georgia, well, kind of because i heard i don't know but according to what google says it's google so some might be right some might be wrong but yeah that's it i said at the beginning i said little wonder place is filled with Ghanaians. there's no problem about that it now makes a lot of sense because there are a lot of Ghanaians here i mean <laughs> Ghanaians are everywhere i'm not even kidding with you i've only met Wait, I've not even met up to 10 Nigerians, to be quite frank. Okay, one, two. I've met about seven Nigerians. In fact, it's very interesting to see that it's like Nigeria and Ghana, they've picked states. You see, for New York, I do not doubt this Google set because, you know, I used to think, I don't know why I thought, Sha, that Nigerians were a lot in New York. They are. I mean you can see that but why i'm saying so is when i got to new york i realized that bronx specifically i think bronx is actually Ghanaian. let me not generalize the whole of new york bronx in particular because the african restaurants the um, african shops are all Ghanaians. although one of the african shops that i saw in bronx belonged to togolese so you can just say Ghanaians to be honest i think i saw one 
um african i think it's still owned by a Ghanaian. i'm not too sure but to be honest i feel like Ghanaians have taken over bronx Ghanaians have taken over virginia according to what you guys have seen and now according to what i've been saying <laughs> i've been saying i've not been seeing my people here i mean Ghanaians are still my people it doesn't matter but this brings me to say that Ghanaians and nigerians are are inseparable there's nothing anyone is going to tell me we are inseparable you guys we are always together wherever you find nigerians you will find Ghanaians. it's just like when you say an african restaurant if we're just going to be honest with each other that african restaurant is just an umbrella it is mostly nigerian and Ghanaian dishes you find there true or false let me know in the comment section because you people are calling it african restaurants no problem well, no shade to the other africans well, i beg you don't come for me oh. my other people from other parts of africa don't come for me but to be honest you say african restaurant but it's mainly nigerian and Ghanaian dishes you find there to be quite honest yes or no yes let's leave it like that you go to african stores well for the most part you also see other african countries products right it's no wahala but if you check it well let us say the way it is you when you pick up milo made in nigeria you pick up nest uh Cerilac, for instance made in ghana you pick up fufu made in nigeria you pick up this one made in ghana so yeah what are we saying yeah I didn't say you will not find because you see other food there you see liberian dishes like their uh what's the name of this their food oh, cassava leaves you get it from african market it's not a nigerian dish is it a Ghanaian dish i'm not sure well anyway there's a dish called cassava leaves or is it potato greens one of the two or both it's really nice actually it's from it's from liberia it's a nice and delicious dish you find it in african markets i'm not saying that other african nationalities don't have their food there oh, don't come for me i'm repeating it but for the most part is nigeria and ghana you see this social media banter we always have back and forth oh we we'll insult each other this one we we'll insult this one will say we don't have light this one will say you eat egg too much you do this one you do that one it's all social media banter to be honest we are marrying each other we are we are best friends with each other we 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 have businesses together we live together we are one everything that is yours is ours do you get it so we're always together so when i see the social media banter i'm just like okay we'll move on from that it, it ends there because we can't stop talking about each other we're always talking about each other so that's why we're always together which is good in a sense no not in a sense which is very good because we put each other on the map if you're not seeing ghana you're seeing nigeria if you're not seeing nigeria you're seeing ghana so you're always seeing one or both of us on the map which is a really good thing yeah i mean for it social media banter is social media banter aside from that we are good you guys i feel like we are good it's just like two siblings a brother and no i won't even say a brother and a sister a brother and a brother two brothers always fighting who is going to uh, take that this chicken who's going to do this who's going to do that eventually they still love each other they fight from now to tomorrow but they still love each other unconditionally see it's so let me explain ghana and nigeria they are fracas or they are bad boys or they are insults they like to keep it between themselves if a third country mistakenly puts mouth i'm so sorry for you i am genuinely very sorry for you because don't 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 even try it for your own good do not try it so you see it's just like siblings that fight it's sometimes it's best as parents don't put your mouth just leave them let them do whatever they want to do when they are ready they will resolve it do you get it of course when it becomes very brutal and very violent of course you have to intervene but i'm just talking normal sibling banter don't don't involve just leave them to do whatever they want to do they will settle it it's just like nigeria and ghana do not eat I'm warning you, other countries, do not put your mouth. Just leave us the way we are. We are one. We're going to keep fighting from now till thy kingdom come. But we love each other. There's nothing anybody's going to say. If you meet some Ghanaians now, you say, if you ask, 
oh my best friend is nigerian you meet some nigerians oh my best friend is ghanaian that's just how it is we are we are actually one regardless of what social media is saying it's just social media so this one please my ghanaian people don't come for me don't come for me i mean it's just an observation i've said it in previous videos in case you've never seen me before you've never watched any of my video go and watch my previous videos and you know what i'm talking about i must have said it once or twice so before coming to the u.s i used to think right um i mean i lived in ghana so i've seen how ghanaians are i've related with ghanaians i have ghanaians in my life like permanently <laughs> i have a lot of ghanaians as family as friends as acquaintances so i know ghanaians well but before coming here i'm saying that to establish my points before you're you thinking yes so i know ghanaians before coming to the U.S., I used to think that Ghanaians were not so pushful when it comes to business. You see, my eyes were opened when I came abroad and saw what Ghanaians are doing for themselves over here. I stayed in New York. Please, I keep looking back because I'm here in Kru -Kru -Kru. Let's just be guided over here. I stayed in New York for a bit and I saw how well Ghanaians are doing for themselves. I'm here in Virginia. And I'm really impressed, very, very impressed. Look at just recently in Richmond, a Ghanaian decided to open a dine-in restaurant. I could never have thought that Ghanaians, maybe it's just Ghanaians in diaspora, I don't know. But I think that that notion has been corrected. In fact, you guys, hands down, I give it to you. That notion has been corrected. I used to think, you know, they, because of how laid back Ghanaians can be, they're not very, you know, out in your face like that. They are not so pushful. You will know that they are doing things underground, under G things. So I'm very impressed. Like, I give it to you guys. I'm so, so, so impressed. This is coming from a good place. If you watch my channel, if you know me, it's coming from a good place. But I'm really, really impressed. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of us because I'm one of you. I just didn't wait to call my citizenship, but I'm one of you. <laughs> I can categorically tell you guys that an average Nigerian, I'm saying average because an average, I've spoken to a lot of Nigerians. We've had conversations about Ghanaians and vice versa with Ghanaians about Nigeria. And I can categorically tell you guys that an average Nigerian does not hold any animosity towards Ghanaians. An average Nigerian does not dislike a Ghanaian. An average Nigerian will be willing to make friends with an average Ghanaian. But I can't really say the same for Ghanaians on social media. You people in my comment section. And the experiences I went through in Ghana. Yeah, that house hunting situation, if you guys remember. You know, it kind of made me feel like this social media banter... Uh, it might not really be a lie because some Ghanaians don't necessarily treat us the way we treat them. You see it now. We, you guys remember, if you're watching me for the first time, if you're wondering what's this girl talking about, we love Nigerians, okay. Remember the issue I had in Ghana when I was house hunting? I had gotten the house. In fact, I was, it was left for me to pay right don't forget that woman who oh, that i had paid and she returned my money i said she's not giving me the house again that woman it's only god in heaven that would judge that woman i still remember her name and i have a picture of my phone <laughs> interesting i do but it's not i'm not using it for anything but i need to keep that picture on my phone i'm not going to do anything to her no i mean i'm a child of god i'm a spirit-filled believer i will not do anything to her but, but god will judge her anyway she Remember the issue, I got the house, I was approved, it was just left to pay, and then the landlord, with the agent and all, so I eventually met the landlord, and he said he wasn't going to give me the house. Did I meet him, or before I met him? Anyway, he found out I was Nigerian, and said he wasn't going to give me the house. <laughs> I said, you, you not see fine girl like this, fine, responsible lady like this, good looking. You refuse to give me your house. Why? What's going on? He said he's so sorry, but he won't give me the house. until. I actually brought a Ghanaian relative before he accepted. That's, I'll leave it at that. Before he said, oh, okay, oh, sorry. He, I told you guys now, he came, he came to my apartment, knocked on my door, and apologized for not giving me the apartment. 
maybe because he later saw that I was a good Nigerian. Yeah, because I, I, I proved him wrong. Me, as a Nigerian, I'm sure I've given that man a different taste of what Nigerians are noted for in quotes. I'm sure I'm one of the best tenants that man has ever, ever had. I'm not even kidding with you. I can say so confidently. I'm one of the best tenants that man has ever had. But he just looked as if he needed a Ghanaian as a guarantor or he needed to know that I'm affiliated with a Ghanaian before giving me the house. I felt bad, but I mean, for him to come and apologize, I'm like, that's good, that's good, that's good. But, you know, that experience, amongst others, just made me think, you know, that it's like some Ghanaians don't still like us, regardless of the fact that, oh, we live together, Ghan a lot of Nigerians are in Ghana, a lot of Ghanaians are in Nigeria. Regardless of the fact that we still interact, we do businesses together, it's like some of you still don't fully trust us. It's painful, but yeah, I'm not talking about my Ghanaians around me. Ha! All the Ghanaians around me love Nigerians. That one, no, this one is not even about mouth or maybe they are pretending now. There's one, there's one particular Ghanaian woman that I met here. She said if she's to come again in her next life, which, well, there's actually nothing like that. <laughs> the next life, the next time is going to be heaven on earth. So, but she's just saying, you know, if she's to come back to the earth as a human being come back to be born again that she's going to want to be born as a nigerian i'm like you must really love us so we we are really hitting some cool spots for you you must really love us so i'm really happy that a lot of you know Ghanaians see us that way all the Ghanaians i've met in this virginia and in the last years in the last couple of years like They've just been so fantastic. I've always known Ghanaians in my life. I've actually always known Ghanaians. My church, when I was growing up, there were Ghanaians, a lot of them, that we didn't even know they were Ghanaians until I grew much older than I knew. So you can't tell. You see, I said in one video many months ago, I think sometime last year, that in Nigeria, it's very difficult for you to be able to tell a foreigner apart, an African apart from a Nigerian, except maybe you start to talk, you say one or two things, and then we can kind of, you know, tell from your accent that, oh, okay, this one is like, this one is from Sierra Leone, or this one's from Liberia. But before you talk, we'll just assume that you are Nigerian. But the same is not in Ghana. I can, well, when I was in Ghana, I could easily tell a foreigner apart. I don't know why, but I just could tell, I don't know. I just could tell a non ghanaian apart from a Ghanaian, you know well anyway this is all good i mean i just came here to tell you guys the research that i did and what i found let me know in the comment section so that explains i'm still baffled when i saw it i'm like hey is that why Ghanaians are all over virginia like this hey but i know as for texas da i know that nigerians are plenty there hey but I hear it's because of the weather. That's what I hear. That's because of the weather. That's why a lot of them are there. A lot of Nigerians are there. But regardless, wherever we are, we're still going to love each other. Okay? <laughs> but you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comment section. It's just good to see that these two countries, there are countries in between also. We just flew from one end to the other. We flew to go and meet each other. <laughs> I love our love. You see Ghanaians and Nigerians. I love our love. I love the way we behave towards each other. <laughs> it's been so long I even saw a social media fight. It's one love, guys. One love. One love. One love. Keep us together. One love. Nigeria and Ghana. You guys are the face of Africa. Some people are going to come for me now. <laughs> You we should not be angry. I'm just saying, you know, don't be angry. <laughs> the rest of Africans, don't be angry. I beg you, name of God. This was not the plan. The plan was not to diss you unknowingly. I'm so sorry. But you guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, and leaving a comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.